You will find, it was said about the Israelites, you will find them the most desiring of living. They just want to live. They just don't want to die. Even more than the people who do shirk. Each one of them wants to live a thousand years. You know how, this is a new one. I didn't think this would happen to us, but a lot of people, Muslims come up to me, young and old. I have a real fear of dying. I just don't want to die. Why did Allah create death? I have nightmares about dying. Why are you afraid of dying? We came from Allah. We returned back to Allah. This is an episode of our life. This is not the end of our life. I met a doctor who told me he, he deals with patients that are on the verge of death. You know? And sometimes he has to tell the family he only has a month left. He has two weeks left. You know, if, the, if you'd like to take him off the machine and take them home or whatever, take them off dialysis, etc., et then it's your choice. And he says, man, I deal with atheist families, Jewish families, Christian families, Hindu families. I deal with all kinds of Muslim families. And the only families to say, no, 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 he cannot die. He cannot die. Keep him on the machine. I know his brain's not working anymore. But no, 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 that cannot be. We cannot have him die. The only families that do that are the Muslim families. Everybody else says he had a good life. The atheist says, I had a good life. Let me go in peace. They have no problem. The Hindu says, okay, he'll come back, karma, he'll come back, or teletubby, or whatever, he'll come back. The, one, the only people now that cannot accept the notion of death, how could this happen? How could death happen? No, 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 they're still alive. They can't go, they can't go, and they can't accept it over and over again. The Muslims, you know what Allah did with us? We, we don't hand the body over to a cremation company so they can deal with it, or to a company that embalms the body, or... Who washes the body? The family members. Who puts the kafan on the body? The family members. Traditionally, who put the body in the grave? The family. Why? Because Allah, is, this religion teaches you to deal with death, not run from it, to deal with it. The Israelites developed a terrible fear of death. Terrible fear of death. Now, it's reminding me of a hadith of the Prophet ﷺ. When he said that people are going to eat from us like wolves, tear up a sheep. And he said, what's the, when he was asked, mal, 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 ja. well, how, how are we going to get out of this? He said, remember death a lot. Right? And that's some people look at that and say, why should I remember death a lot? It's depressing. The point of that hadith is people will become so obsessed with what? Life, that they don't want to accept the reality of death. It's not that you should wake up and say, I'm going to die. Breakfast, I'm going to die. Lunch, I'm gonna die. It's like that's not what's being said. It's just that you're so engulfed in life that you're denying the reality of death. You're denying that this life is a journey. And this was something that they before us, you know, they're not going to be getting away from punishment if it no longer how much how long they live. Here's another one that they did. They they had this problem, alhamdulillah, we don't have this problem anywhere in the Muslim world. They used to teach people, the angels were sent to teach them magic. 